Hi there. I'm Kim Berkeley, one of the authors of the Speaking Out About Self-Injury blog over on Healthy Place, and today I wanted to talk about why you need to forgive yourself for hurting yourself. For people who self-harm, a lot of us, guilt is a really big part of either why we do it or why we feel we have to stop. Guilt can be useful in some cases. If you feel bad about hurting yourself, the good side of that is that it might get you to stop. But the bad side of that is that more often than not, it can be a barrier to healing. You might be angry at yourself for giving into your urges, or you might feel guilty like I did for possibly taking your life for granted. You might feel like there's no obvious external reason for you to be doing what you do. And so, you know, it feels bad to throw that back in the face of the universe or your parents or whoever and hurt yourself anyway and feel those feelings. But the truth is, those feelings don't necessarily come from something in our environment. It, there's a lot of factors that go into why you might start and none of them have to do with you as a person or your character. Hurting yourself does not mean you are weak. Hurting yourself does not mean that there is something wrong with you as a human being. All it means is that you are in pain and that you want it to stop. And there are few things in this world more human than that feeling. So in that sense, there isn't really anything to forgive. You aren't a bad person because you engaged in self-harm. But guilt doesn't always work that way. It's not always logical. And you might not even be fully aware that you feel guilty or that you feel like you've done wrong in some way for having hurt yourself. These feelings, even if you're not fully aware of them, can keep you from moving on, keep you from moving forward. And in some cases, if they're severe enough, they might even trigger a relapse, which you don't want. So ultimately, forgiving yourself isn't just about letting go of what happened. It's about paving a way to the future. It's about getting better. It's not easy, but it is really important. And no matter how long it's been, it's still important. For me, it's been 10 years since I actively hurt myself, but I realized in a recent conversation when I was talking to my parents about it that I still had a lot of forgiving to do. I still felt bad and I needed to let that go in order to keep moving forward and keep writing these blogs and making these videos and helping other people move on too. So if you feel bad, if you feel guilty, if you feel ashamed about having hurt yourself, whether it was recently or 10 years ago or 20, it doesn't matter. Forgive yourself. It's okay. It's in the past and it doesn't mean anything bad about you and it doesn't mean that you can't move on and that you can't change and heal. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please go over on the blog and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, if you have any questions, concerns, anything at all. We're listening, I promise. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next post in the next video. Bye.